Welcome to WGK Glass Art, everyone. Sandra is gonna be demonstrating to you how we make our beautiful sunflower. Hello there. I think the sunflower started out as a custom request from a customer. That is true. Yeah. I remember that as well. And it turned out so nicely. I you think it also know? did a standing one. Did you do a standing sun? Maybe it was a combination of sunflowers and something else. It was very yeah. pretty. So as you guys can see, she started out with the green glass rod on the preheater. Well, the black was on there before. Oh, the black, I'm sorry, the black, which the is... The black was on there before, but I'm working with the black already, so the green is on. Cool. That's the next bigger rod that I need. And for the, the, the leaves, I pulled some yellow in a, in a thinner form. That just works better for putting on the leaves. So I did, what I did so far is I put on the, that little rod here, the handle, a big blob of black and I just flattened this one. So this is the center for the flower. Now I'm gonna add a lot of indentations, you could say, small yeah. indentations on top that kind of makes the center. What is that tool called that you're using? I think I've asked you this once I think before. rake, it's, they are, they're called rakes. It's a rake, okay. There were straight ones and there were also bent ones and that's a, that's a straight one. That one also is actually just plain metal. There's also different kinds of metals that they use for rakes. There's a plain one. And I always start in the middle and then I work towards the outside and then whatever, whatever works. I don't really have a plan for how I press them in. Yeah, I guess like in nature, you know, it, it always differ. However yeah. it comes. Yeah, some are bigger and some are smaller. Doesn't matter really. It just should give the impression that, that we want. Yeah. yeah. So then I'm starting on the outside on the edge. And I'm always moving the, the glass so that it looks more like a, in a leaf shape. Kind of. So I'm overlapping it once I'm on. I'm going on, I'm going away a little bit and I'm overlapping on itself. And that gives a certain sort of a leaf shape. And they can be different as well, those leaves. That just makes them look more natural. Sometimes I have leaves in between where I'm thinking, oh, that looks crooked, or that looks weird. But when it's all together, it just, it, it looks natural. It's okay. Yeah, I think so. We've never had any complaints. This is always a little bit of a, a tricky thing for me, kind of the, the, the natural side of it really, because I want to make that perfect, or well, I tend to want to make that perfect. And nature is more about imperfection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. 
not only just nature, but also the beauty in our work. Even though like our hummingbirds and our owls and cardinals, even our dragons, some come out looking just like one another from what people see. However, there are slight differences, just like in nature. Yeah, that's just normal. It's when, when you don't have a, any kind of mold or something for it, they, they must be different mm -hmm. in a way. Do you decide ahead of time of how many petals you put on there? No. Just however many fit around yeah. the base. I just go on and, and I kind of what fits. I leave, I'm leaving a little space, that, uh, but it, that's more or less the space that I need to really work the leaf. Um, so that's more or less what I'm doing. And um, I, I just add as much as, as possible, I would say. Right, so cover. So that looks like two more there. So I'm, I'm gonna add two more. Hey guys. Dot com. looks more orange huh yeah i was gonna say that it actually looks very reddish like reddish. Yeah. yeah when it cools down it's gonna be that um yellow orange rod i believe it is yeah the the the, the more bit more yeah it's gonna be more of this the, the color. one that is in the middle yeah rather than the bright yellow color yeah i usually i, I tend to like to try around a little bit I'm gonna do some lighter ones some darker ones and I also have this striped rod that's a mix between okay between this this color and orange mm -hmm. so it kind of gives these uh, one, one under if you go over here and show them that it, it gives the structure in there oh that's that looks a bit natural as well so that's also interesting that would be this one here. Yeah, this one here. That's yeah. very neat. It comes on its own. So I took off the handle. I put on another handle on one of the leaf ends. And I kind of fixed the, the back. And the black because there's always that rim from the, the handle on there. Mm -hmm. So I kind of make it look nice on there and then we can add the stem and the stem is what the flower actually hangs from there's a yeah. a loop at the end which makes it an ornament these look great in your kitchen windows especially a group of them oh they look so nice mm -hmm. so i'm on with the green And guys, feel free to comment below and let us know what's your favorite part of this video. And also our sunflower lovers. How many of you guys have real sunflowers in your yard? They are big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they are enormous. Huge. My daughter loves them, but she's allergic to almost everything. to go a little bit more to the front. I want the loop to stand right on top of the sunflower that makes it hang straight. And then I need to add two more leaves, green ones this time. And I keep the always thinking at that point 
when the, the, the leaves on the, on the flower cool down, it starts with the tip that goes for yellow first. Mm. So I keep thinking, oh, that would be nice too if you could let it stay that way in the end. Yeah. You know that it looks more orangey in the center, but it doesn't work like that. No, unfortunately <laughs> not. We don't have, we're not magicians mm -hmm. in that way. <laughs> okay. And there we have it. There it is. Guys, you can find our sunflowers on our website at wgkglass.com. We're also on Etsy. That's E T S Y. And just type in our name, WGK Glass Art. Hope you guys are having a good spring. Thank you for joining us.